Hello and welcome to Forever Sports. My name is Mark and we have just finished watching the Springboks beat Argentina in Imbombela to win the rugby championship in 2024. A hell of a game. 48 points to 7 after Argentina let their discipline down after being so good this entire season. Letting it down right at the end. And uh, yeah, what a match we had here in South Africa uh, to end off this season's rugby championship. Means that the Springboks will finish with five wins out of six, only having lost, of course, to Argentina last week. But today, making a real firm point uh, and making sure they were <laughs> basically were not caught out ever again so that nobody can have any arguments about it. So let's just run through the game quickly, of course. But before we do get there, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new, like the video, and comment down below what you thought of the game as well. And I know a whole lot of you are going to be joining me in the chat, but yes. So, try. Fussy in the 8th minute. Unbelievable start from the Springboks. They really were all over Argentina from the get-go. Just firmly on their try line for a good 5-10 minutes straight away from the beginning. And then Fussy bows over uh, to put it 7 points. Then 40 minutes later, again, still so much dominance from the Springboks. In the forwards, in the back line. And uh, a brilliant little leap over the top from uh, Peter Steff to Toy. Managed to get South Africa's second try. Then the 19th minute, Springboks defence let them down a little bit where there was a bit of a gap that they found and uh, we saw Albanots uh, go over and uh, finish off a little bit of broken play from Argentina to go straight underneath the post and make it 14-7. At this point, you're thinking, oh, will Argentina now start to fight back? Um, not really. We had 10 minutes then of a little bit of scuffling, but mainly in South Africa's corner. I mean, South Africa played really, really well. The the, the broken play was, was next level. It really was next level. Um, and then uh, they finished it off with try again from Fassi in the 33rd minute. He dove over for a second one to make it 22 points to seven. After then, in the 38th minute, brilliant from Colby as well to step one player and go on the outside. And he made it another try to make it 27 points to seven at half time. At half time, everybody's thinking this is going to be a walkover for the Springboks. And to be fair, they were right. However, after the half, we then had another issue where we had, um, of course, we started and uh, the Springboks were a little bit. I wouldn't say lost, but certainly uh, Argentina started coming back at them a lot. A lot of subs being made. Um, <clears throat> there was also a yellow card to Vincent... Um, to Not to Vincent... What am I saying? There's no yellow card to South Africa. Um, but yeah, it was very scrappy rugby for the first 20 minutes in that, in that second half. And eventually the yellow card was given out to Montoya for a dangerous, dangerous shoulder charge, which turned into a red card later on, which really helped the Springboks. And there was another yellow card as well to Carreras near the end there, which really helped the Springboks. And uh, at that point, we got a try from Malcolm Marks in the 69th minute from the Mall, in the 73rd minute again from Peter Steff to Toy after a disallowed try from um, Kurt Lee so almost brilliant as well, uh, to end off the game, 48 points to 7. A brilliant, brilliant display of rugby from the box, and also really competitive rugby in terms of broken play as well as physical and everything. It was just unbelievable skill being displayed uh the the chosen man of the match from 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 the game itself has been peter step to toy but there are so many arguments as well apalela fassi unbelievable game marnie libok as well had some brilliant kicks and some brilliant play as well from him some no look kicks that's just found the mark and just really launched and catapulted the springbok attack forward um Coming off the bench as well, Pollard has now scored more than 750 points for the Springboks. Evan Netspeth has now matched uh, Victor Matfield's 127 um, caps for the Springboks. Sia Kalisi getting interviewed. He also had a storming game. I tell you, he's also even uh, up there for an argument for man of the match. Unbelievable player, Sia Kalisi, and uh, captaining the side quite a number of times, of course. So a great day out for Springbok fans. Argentina, on the other hand, their discipline really did let them down a little bit. They were also just under the cosh from the get-go. Springboks just basically choked them from the get-go. They really didn't uh, allow uh, Argentina to get out of their own half. They were just permanently having to put up with defence, defence, defence. They couldn't breathe, they couldn't get going, and as a result, Springboks really did just pummel them later on in the game as well. As much as they really wanted to come here and win the championship, it was really going to be quite a tough ask to get a bonus point victory in South Africa, as well as to not allow Springboks to get a bonus point themselves. And in the end, they don't take a single point. Springboks take all five. They finish on 24 points in the rugby championship and they win it. And an unbelievable crowd witnessed it here in Mbombela and uh, all of you as well online. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to let me know in the comments what you thought of the game. And uh, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Of course, this has been Mark on Forever Sports and we're going to get into our review soon.